Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome to you all for joining the session on the power of communicating effectively for successful career and life by Mr. Gopinath Rajendran, organized by Kumaraguru College of Liberal Arts and Science. First, let me welcome and introduce the guest for today, Mr. Gopinath Rajendran. Mr. Ro Gopinath Rajendran is a program manager and has 16 years of IT services experience. He has exposure in providing IT solutions to the customers across the globe, have worked in person with customers who are based out of North America, Latin America, United Kingdom, and is Asia Pacific. Currently, he manages a large digital program that provides cutting edge solutions like IOT to the customers. So, certified as project management professional by PMI and certified scrum master by Agile, he strongly believes in passionate and enthusiastic in the action he does and learning things from practicing and experiencing challenging responsibilities. His hobbies include frequent nature and uh, adventure travels. His multifold experience in teaching, guiding, and mentoring, coaching folks in an outside organization. The sessions include technical, digital areas, uh, and onto the personality development aspect of an individual. I am immensely pleasured to introduce him to you all, and I want to and welcome you, Mr. Gopi, to take over the session as the participants are enthusiastically waiting for to hear you. Without further ado, I hand over the session to you, Mr. Gopi. Uh, thank you, Dr. Vidya. A warm morning and uh, uh, happy to be part of this session. Uh, Thank you, uh, Kumaroguru College of Liberal Arts and Science for providing this platform. Uh, so it is definitely evident like today being in this uh, situation, right? A pandemic situation where we are getting into a cutting edge uh, digital usage. Uh, we are more into a situation to see how we can perform things differently. Uh, one of such things is our soft skills to interact with each other, right? be it communication or be it the way we interact with others. Uh, so we have to do it a little different. So thanks, Dr. Vidya, as well as thanks again, Kumaraguru College for giving this wonderful platform. It is definitely evident for me to learn out of this situation, like uh, uh, providing in a large scale uh, forum to facilitate my learnings. Definitely, I feel like I can definitely learn out of the sessions, interacting with you, experimenting my uh, exercise and the experience that I gained over the time, right? Uh, as well as I strongly feel, given the situation, you folks will be able to appreciate what is needed from a communication aspect. And you will have at least minimal takeaways of this session. Um, so I will quickly share my screen. Hope that is coming up. Right. So uh, generally, we think about uh, communication. We define communication in different ways. Uh, let it be for a few folks, like it, it, it be like we call it English. We call it as vocabulary. We say about talking, speaking. So different definitions used to be. Um, so kind of uh, uh, we used to clearly differentiate what we call a speaking, talking to what we call as communication, right? And it's definitely very effective. At least few months before, three, four months before, it was a different case. So we were strong in the way we execute things. Let it be the personal environment that we involved right in our family in our home or where we go out say mingle with friends our community and things 
so we used to talk we were very comfortable we used to interact with them it is part of our blood right we know how to speak to our parents we know how to speak to our friends but today we are in a different world where we have to act little differently uh, even we take it to a professional environment let it be the college where you study or let it be to the way you kind of uh, take it to your workspace right in the corporate that you work or office you work so kind of you see like more than talking speaking communication is really important and in a way we define communication as a power like you need to have a strong skill of having your communication very effective right this is what you see in the screen but while you register for this program you would have seen something like uh, the power of effective communication right communication is something we do on and off like we we go and uh, discuss interact with different people on and off but how it is effective so we'll definitely learn out of it and in the topic while you register you have seen something like how you implement in your personal space your life and how you implement in your uh, professional environment let it be the college or office or corporate where you work on so uh, so this is what we are going to see so uh, first uh, expectation you can see is like uh, the power of your effective communication in your personal as well as a professional space second aspect will also touch the current situation the pandemic situation how communication is very important uh, for you to be into a new normal state how communication is very important for you to look into aspects into the digital space right like how earlier it was a case where you might need to uh, go and submit a report to a person it was a case you go to auditorium or you go and speak to different people like even when these kind of sessions right uh, soft skill session we generally do in a auditorium or a training room so when we go there it's a different way of communication right it is all about the body language the standing posture the walking posture many gestures come into to place but the new normal it is all about what you see me in a rectangular box right the bigger facial reactions the tone as such the voice as such the way i articulate words and how it reaches to you so you yeah, have to look this into uh, different streams right like when i say different streams um, people think themselves why we need communication right uh, people think like whether i am a good communicator or a bad communicator right uh, so that is no hard and fast definition whether you are a good communicator or bad communicator so the way i will ex explain with examples right um, okay so i am i am representing a particular friend right let's say person x he was born brought up with good interactions with people he studied in high notch uh, college schools he interacted very well like uh, his english fluency was very good he learned from a very good set of people his communication was always wonderful right but let's take a today situation if he gets up sick right like if, when he wakes up he is not well he is not uh, doing well to interact or present what he is trying to say he will at the point of time he will end up as a bad communicator right and again like example like uh, i i recently saw a whatsapp video a forwarded video from my friend uh so his relative was doing a utensil shop he was a owner of a small utensil shop so for 50 days because of the situation the shop was closed and now it's a situation some shops were getting open what he was trying to see is to uh exercise his 50 days of learning in the digital space right he learned different things he started using whatsapp he started using youtube and he felt like let me play a video let me record a video in youtube and play it in youtube uh, at least one video in a week right so he was just owning a small potential shop uh, he thought uh, 
my primary business is selling pressure cookers. So let me tell what is a safety measure, like how to take care of the safety, especially for ladies and uh, people who are in the kitchen, like, like what is the purpose of the gasket? And if something is over pressurized, how to open the lid and the top of the cooker? So I was explaining, right? It doesn't have any fancy English vocabulary words. It doesn't have much uh, presentable ways of things, but as he had a subject with him, right? As he know on ground what he's trying to say, he was bringing the power of smile in his face. He was bringing the uh, effectiveness in space and the communication was very superb, right? So a candidate who have not learned very well in what is mastering as communication, even he can be a good communicator, right? That is the power of communication. So at any point, we cannot call you or me as a good communicator or a bad communicator. It is all about different situations, scenarios that will come into play, right? Uh, given this networking scenarios, right? It might have started saying sometimes my voice might be low, it comes a little slow, things like that. So anything can happen, but how we adapt quickly to the situation and how you convey the message. So you would have heard some basic communication explanations, right? A two way communication, one way communication, or multi communications where people discuss with the group and things. Obviously, you know, a person who started a uh, person who is speaking, right? And the second person who is receiving what is being communicated. And then you know about the medium, right? Uh, current scenario it is the YouTube channel, the medium which is being streamed. Uh, let it be a video conferencing in a WhatsApp. Let it be a plain telephonic call, right? So two-way communication or multi-mode communication all comes with a medium in place. And for things to be effective, we have heard here and there like how it can happen in a feedback. Right? You get a feedback, you ask whether the receiver has really listened to what you're trying to convey and things like that, right? It is neither both for your personal life as well as your professional life is what we are trying to say. So I would kind of say it is uh, to you to think now uh, why we need communication or why we need communication to be very effective, right? Uh, some people say like, okay, I need to learn communication because my promotion is due. I'm in this role for a long time. I want to quickly see how I can improve my communication and go to the next level, right? Uh, I, will, I will take you to the example of a utensil shop person, right? So communication is secondary for him. Like he was a subject matter expert in the work he do. And in different ways, he was able to communicate things to a person. So success comes with that, right? Uh, so your customer, uh, sometimes your customer may not be the person who is in the same city or same locality, right? When you work, you will work with multinational company, like you work with people in a different geography. So you need to quickly understand your customer, their culture and things where you end up a value. Relationship, right? Like, uh, uh, so when we say relationship, people generally say a relationship of a spouse, like husband and wife relationship. So it's very important how you have a good relationship bond with your rapper, with your boss, uh, with your subordinates, right? People working with under you. So your peers, like people who are working in your project, in your work environment, uh, it is all important. So these are streams or areas you need to look how communication is powerful. And you have to look in terms how you need to have the end value and make things very effective, right? So let me quickly get to the next screen. So we'll do a quick activity. I'm jumping windows. So go to a website called menti.com. I know you're all into a digital space right we guys are digital and we are trying to use the mobiles the the uh, 
uh, laptops or uh, iPad and lots of things, right? Take any digital, the smartphone or whatever you have, quickly take it, like take the probably in the next uh, 20 minutes or so. Uh, so I will quickly show you a site called menti.com, right? I think the site is not visible to you. Let's share the screen. So are you able to see the screen? Uh, Right, I think you can see. I, I have my parallel mobile open to see how it is coming up. So uh, go to this site. I quickly want you folks to go to the site called menti.com. Any smartphones, any laptop, or anywhere you have internet, right? Uh, definitely by now, at least 99% of you should have a, a internet connected device with you. You can switch windows. If you are watching the video, you can switch windows quickly to do this. So go to the site and give this code. The code is 522681. Click a submit button, and you'll have a quiz to play on. Right? So you will have a quiz, something like that. I want you to go quickly, uh, play the quiz, answer it. So I will not say uh, what is the answer or there may not be answer also, but I want you to quickly see what is that you're responding. I see the smart first candidate hitting the space, lots of things coming up, right? So let me quickly see how many candidates are in the panel. Okay, I'm not able to see. That's fine. So, uh, so I understand close to uh, uh, 300 participants registered. It should be a good count as such. I should at least see 100 members hitting this quiz option, right? So it will take some time for you to quickly go to the window. So all are trying to answer one. Like, are you copying it? No, right? So let me take another 60 seconds. I will wait another 60 seconds for you to um, respond to this quiz. So at least when the count becomes 10, we'll finish this. OK, let us finish this. Um, so hope my speed is OK, right? I'm purposefully going slower uh, because I feel this uh, digital mode of presentation, people have to get in a speed than the normal way it is. There is a reason to it, which is a communication reason to it. I will come to that in upcoming slides. OK, let, let's finish this. Uh, where do you feel communication is needed, right? Uh, so we started with a topic, right? You mentioned communication is needed at your workspace, uh, at your college if you are studying, so at your school if you are studying there. Uh, at your corporate assets, right? Uh, with your family. Uh, so let it be your sisters, your your friends, your parents, your kids, right? And if you take to any environment, right? Our community as such, like you go to a nearby bank, go to a nearby supermarket, things like that. So everywhere is needed. So 
I'll quickly, yeah. So the answer says, the majority says everywhere and every instance, right? All right, so this is a correct answer. Um, so no, nothing is wrong if you have quoted something different, right? It should be fine. Uh, I'll try to explain a little more, right? Uh, so I, I work currently, Dr. Vidya introduced me. I work with a customer who is in the, the western part of the geography, right? Currently, it's a United States customer. Uh, so my weekdays are a little tight. So I have to work my, with my counterparts there, my customers, early in my morning. Like sometimes I am meeting like 7, 7.38. And then I get ready and go to office. And sometimes what happens is, uh, uh, I used to have meetings in the evening. Uh, there are business happenings, right? You work for a customer, their clients will execute a few business and some meetings happen in our evening. Maybe I will have some free time in the uh, interim space where I get ready and uh, go to travel to office. Now it's a different environment. Most of us are working from home and things like that. So what I tried to say is my weekdays are a little tight. My weekends, right? Generally, even most of us, if we don't have a work to go on a Sunday, we don't have a college to go on a Sunday, we used to sleep a little more, right? Uh, so this morning, what happened is I got up a little early just because for this session, right, I have to do some arrangements. I have to prepare something for this session. Uh, so we used to have a off on Saturday. So my family members were puzzled seeing like, why I got up early. Then they quickly recollected a couple of days before I was saying, like today we have a session on this particular topic, right? They were able to recollect and get to a mode of uh, what we are trying to say as uh, what, what what is the reason I am getting up early, right? Um, so again, I will share my screen. I'll jump to the other screen. OK, so uh, my family members, in, instead of speaking to me, getting to a conversation be, with me, and they were trying to see in terms of uh, understanding what is the reason I got up early. Right? There is not a single word I spoke to my family member. There is not a single word that my family member asked me, right? But they got the message crystal clear in a couple of minutes, right? So I, I understand most of you are also kind of giving your comments in the chat window. You continue to do that. If you are not able to go to the website, it's fine. You continue to throw your comments in your chat window will try to consume that um, yeah definitely so your point is very valid in terms of uh, all a majority are able to say communication is needed everywhere right so quickly correlating with the way I got up this morning without a vocal communication it makes sense right uh, how loyal I am right like maybe I go to a nearby shop uh, I, I have kind of got a very little cash with me. It actually happened like uh, 20 days before, took a lesser cash, but the shop owner knows me, the provisional shop owner knows me, and I didn't plan for some vegetables, but there were some fresh ones available. I thought, why well, I need to come every day to the shop, let, let me purchase it for two, three days and go. So I want to get some depth with my shop owner. I, I say like next time I'll give. And the shop owner knows this guy is not going to come in an hour or in a day. He is going to come three, four days later. But he feels definitely uh, that I am really loyal to the customer. And as a customer, I see the shop owner is loyal. So office space, college space, our home environment, our friends environment, and even the example now I quoted about uh, the environment that we have 
even in our community, right? Go to a shop and speak. Everywhere it makes sense. So hats off to you. Uh, definitely you have answered very well, right? So good. So uh, we'll do another exercise. Uh, so I want this to be a little touch of a soft skill because uh, I strongly mean like you can have few takeaways from this. You will have some impact on you. You will try to take uh, at least one or two takeaways from this session that that is the success of this session is strongly I feel. Uh, so I want to do it not boring with high content in the slides, but I want to do this as a workshop where you kind of feel. And as you have much experience putting your comments in your chat box, right? Probably this might be the exercise for you. Take a last one week time frame. Uh, and you try to jot out two opportunities that you missed, right? Uh, so one should be from your professional career environment, your college or your workspace or your or your multinational company, your corporate and things like that. And one is on your personal life. Uh, take a scenario of your family members, your friends, your neighborhoods, things like that. Think about it two opportunities uh, if you feel comfortable you put it in your chat box right so that is a disclaimer like it's not mandatory uh, some of you might have an interesting opportunity on your personal life you might not feel comfortable putting in the chat it's absolutely fine uh, some of you might have a questions i already see you're asking me what is called as opportunity right uh, so opportunity is a very neutral word like you uh, you see environment, uh, probably I will give a couple of examples. Uh, so one is like last Sunday, my boss called me. He called me kind of same time, 10, 30, 11 in the morning. He told like, Gopi, I have a very important task. You kind of spend a couple of hours and quickly finish this, right? And he kind of told, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, this is the set of prerequisite you need to have gopi you also make use of this yeah i'm already helping you giving the correct content for you to work all right what you feel i would have done right so you would have felt okay most of us have to if if you're seeing from opportunity language most of us we would have accepted that right i should have accepted last sunday though it's a holiday i have to spend two three hours to finish that task uh, Sometimes I could deny it also. We have to strongly say no for a few instances. I could deny also. I could say like, uh, no, uh, where it is coming from. So why it is coming on a Sunday? So why we are not able to do it on Friday, Saturday? And why we cannot wait till Monday? We have to assert to ask the question to the boss and check in terms of whether we can comfortably do it in a different way. That way, that still remains as an opportunity. Otherwise, what happens is we might lose the opportunity, right? Uh, so let's take for a scenario, like I said, no, boss, uh, you didn't promote me last month. OK, I'm really fed up with you. And now you are giving all these tasks on a Sunday. I'll not do. Probably call me back on tomorrow. So I would have said like that, right? Uh, so I'm just giving some jovial or a different way of communication may not be true just for example. So this is one professional example, right? The opportunity, whether it is something I missed or not, I don't know on a Sunday. But two, three days later, I might know whether I missed. So in a career one also, right? Uh, uh, yesterday, one of my neighbor uh, fell down uh, while he was uh, riding his two-wheeler, right? So though it's a COVID situation, social dis distancing is what people are speaking, at least there are four to five people on the road coming to help him, right? He doesn't need to touch this guy. But he was picking up his uh, heavy 40 kg of two-wheeler from his leg, right? At least to make sure there's no bigger casualty. That was his personal uh, scenario where he had opportunity to say, thank you to a community member maybe days after you meet the same person he will have a personal relationship get things helped out for some other reasons and things like that right 
so it was an opportunity for him though, though he met with accident he was able to communicate over that right so if he ended up shouting at that instance and say hey boss it's covid time don't don't come here don't touch me then it might be a scenario is 40 50 kg two wheeler can fracture his leg and things like that right so it is about a moment where you quickly need to adapt and identify think and see what is needed so are you putting the comments in your chat window so probably again i will give you 30 more seconds for you to put your comments you can quickly uh, tell if you are comfortable one opportunity that you missed from a professional perspective one from your personal perspective Yeah, uh, I see a comment. Missed an opportunity in um, in my organization, right? Uh, very beautiful answer. Like you, you are not able to uh, meet a person in uh, in person, right? You are not able to in person meet a candidate. Uh, so you are trying to do everything over a video call or audio call. Definitely, yeah, it's a very challenging state, right? You missed the opportunity. That is where probably you might have some takeaways from the sessions. So what is the effective communication I can do in this situation to do things a little better? It's a beautiful point. I, I don't know who put it, but very beautiful. Something like that. You can So one, one beauty in the chat box is you can copy what others have mentioned. But obviously, I have also given you example, both in a personal and professional. But it will be more effective that if, if you think of your example, right? That makes things uh, sense. So OK, so we, we passed 30 seconds, a little more than that. So what we'll do is we kind of uh, uh, hold this particular opportunity that you missed. So I will use it down the line. I'll come to that. I'll move on. So I'll speak a little serious, right? Now, uh, content or a topic that I need to convey to you. Uh, so we spoke what is the power of communication and why that needs to be effective. And I give some examples, whatever I know, to correlate where it needs to be effective and things like that. So we'll see about what are the different tenants uh, you need to look for a communication to be effective. So empathy. So empathy is something, uh, something like some of you should know. Uh, it is the way you look uh, how things are happening from a receiver's perspective. So for example, if you're communicating with your neighbor, so you have to look the communication from your neighbor's perspective, right? Uh, so I had one good friend. Generally, he speaks a lot. Like we speak for hours together. And good scenario, right? Now we are having more time to do some personal things. So last weekend, we are speaking. Like more than an hour, we are speaking. But 40, 50 minutes, he used to speak. Right? So I say, like, OK, stop. I didn't understand this point. Stop. This is my view. This is what I agree or disagree to what you're saying, right? Things like that. So what we have to do is we have to see whether the candidate is understanding the emotions and feelings of the other person, right? Uh, so I, I, will, I will give you another example, right? Uh, for example, uh, so I'll, I'll take some interesting examples. Uh, I'm not sure you have to implement that in your college or in your workspace. So let's take, uh, uh, I took a leave on last Monday, Tuesday. I was a little tired, I was sick. I was not impacted with COVID, but I was sick for a different reason. I took leave. Now, uh, Friday, right, Friday or Saturday, uh, my neighbor is saying like, uh, I'm really stuck. One of my family member stuck in a neighboring uh, district. And now the lockdown is little relaxed. 
i need your help can you drive me and go and pick my family member right now i can tell yes or no to my neighbor easily but the difficult part of the communication is i have to go to my boss ask for a leave the third day leave in the same week right that is a difficult part but if i put the empathy part to my boss if my boss feels my emotions if my boss goes and feels the emotion of my neighbor also i have seen my boss i have seen my neighbor but my boss would have not seen my neighbor right if he feels even in this lockdown this restricted environment there is something uh, there are emotions playing the world and how we can help each other he can agree for a leave right not sure how this example reach to you think about it right uh, generally we say like if there is a question i again take the last sunday example of uh, getting a office work for two hours right i can say yes i can say no right but if i buy some time to understand and think the way he is asking so uh, i know the character of my boss like, like he is a interesting person he used to be uh, mindset wise very clear like he used to help each other he used to be very clear like monday to friday we need to work but why he is asking on a sunday like if i think from two three different perspective i will have answer how big is the opportunity for my boss as well as for me so if i take few minutes to think i might be able to have my decision or opportunity or a communication very effective and once trick that i tip i can give it to you is you buy time for thinking it okay you cannot say your boss saying like boss uh, give me 5 minutes i will think and tell you instead of that you can tell in a different way uh, for these scenarios asking questions is a better way right uh, uh, hey boss like why this is coming today like we we have given a uh, dependent activity on friday like it could have a fri- come on friday itself nothing wrong you are asking question you are challenging your boss it's still not wrong right so you are buying time your boss is trying to answer your question maybe your boss will also buy time like why gopi is asking this question so is he trying to avoid this particular work then i have to do this particular work he might also think then he will he will buy little more time right he is taking some time to think also so obviously the message here is think before communicating right uh, if someone in a road comes to you and say stupid right do you need to go angrily to him and say i am not stupid you are stupid we may not need to do that right we are all mature where we have some options to think why things are happening different right it is his skill like his nature where he is using a different word but why i need to react for this situation so think before communicating back responding back is very evident so be clear on what you communicate right so clear crisp candid short right be brief is also what you can see is very important uh it it comes easily for you when you are a subject matter expert in that right uh, it comes easily probably in your personal life yes, some will challenge me like it's not clear for me to communicate with my spouse it's always difficult but in a personal life like if someone ask you uh, uh why are you tired you can answer very well if someone ask you can you go to the shop and buy it you can say yes no no very clearly all right but when you comes to a profession it may not be clear because most of a profession how it is different from your personal life is you are trying to give a solution for things which you don't know right take your college life like even people who are working now right when you study it the next semester you're not going to study what you already know you're going to challenge yourself saying like this is the next knowledge that i am going to gain right so having said that you are going to learn something new you are going to understand something to the next level same comes to a work environment right in a work you are kind of going to uh, give an 
answer for things which you are not clear so if you say like i should only work on things which i am 100% sure 100% clear then gone are the days right any anyone can do like uh, uh, people from a junior expertise can do the particular work it is our experience to tackle the unknown okay uh, sometimes clear communication will not come when you try to convey a bad news so when you want to convey a good news it's really easy like you go and say crystal clear like things are like this that, like that right but you want to convey a bad news things may not be very easy at a point of time where you might need to uh, think a lot do a ground preparation and present it with a short span of time so you have to be very specific sometimes uh, if people ask you uh, can you do this work for me uh, the same sunday example right like can you do it today shall i get back to you it's not clear like if you say like shall i come back to you that doesn't make sense right uh, but if you can say very clear a part of this i will do it on monday by 12 o'clock the remaining i can do on tuesday end of the day that that is very specific and very clear as such timely also right uh, so as i said like take your time don't finish your work on Mon sunday do it on monday tuesday things like that uh, some cases it will not work well right you might need to be fast at particular times uh, so you have to look when you think like you don't think for hours together you have to quickly take your time let it be two seconds five seconds or one hour depending upon the situation you need to quickly communicate so these are the different tenets for your communication um, so i want to quickly jump to the next slide which speaks about the barriers that you face right on a day to day it is all about uh, some restrictions that you face so if you try to give solutions to avoid this you will be able to be more effective in your communication so well connected with your audience right so uh, some people try to come and speak to you but if you keep parallelly chatting in a whatsapp right yeah if you are good multitasking it's fine but if you are not good try to do one job at a time connect to what is a person who is doing like if this session also right the problem with the internet based web sessions i don't know how many of you are parallelly doing something else watching tv watching movie i don't know but a good example is this right like if you focus spend your time for a purpose you can have a effect to communication you're not speaking but you have opportunity to give me a feedback put it in the chat learn something you might interact with me later to say whether your understanding is correct and things like that and it is for me right i also see the connect aspect like what is the organizer organizers saying to me what is the uh, participant saying to me and how that has to be quickly adapted and things right so connect is very important so if you feel any barrier for that try to come out of that use simple words uh right sometimes people say like bring some vocabulary high complicated words prove yourself you are very sound and things like that it is not needed i i gave you example of a utensil shop owner right way as simple like that right it is like you can tell in whatever way you have in the next point the body language right like you can uh sometimes if you see in person you can say whether the person is walking fast and he's trying to confuse right or you will be confused seeing a person walking fast and things like that and in this session probably the window that you see me the content that you see me uh the way, sometimes i smile sometimes i look somewhere else sometimes i look into the camera so these gestures the tone the voice i kind of speak to you all conveys communication right like all if it is not effective we have to see where to correct and things to be done cultural diversity culture is definitely right i, I spoke about a two wheeler accident of a neighbor in the neighborhood right and 
effectively for people like who work on corporates, so multi-environment scenarios, uh, right? Um, so we work with customers from a different geography. So we need to understand what is their pulse, right? I cannot go and say like, can you do this work in the next five minutes? I cannot go. Like we need to understand whether that is feasible from a cultural aspect and things like that. Check your understanding. And generally communication happens like people who speak, then somebody receives it. There is a medium, there is a feedback and things, right? The feedback is very important where you need to understand whether the message is going correct or not. So I'm constantly trying to get the feedback from the organizers and from the participants, like what comments is coming up and trying to tune the way I speak now. So it is that effective. Like if you take a personal scenario, right? If you want to ask your brother to go to a shop and buy something, right? If your brother is quiet for five minutes, 10 minutes, not responding to you, what does it mean? Right? But if he says no, at least things are beautiful, right? You can take next steps. So his understanding on what he's trying to convey and the feedback is very important. The participation, right? Uh, so I'm visualizing a scenario after this COVID, right? Like six months later, nine months later, going to a marriage function and things where definitely people will speak Corona as a topic, right? In my area, this happened, that happened. The government said this, the news channel said this, this will be a topic. But if you are not interested, you can change the topic, right? If you feel somebody is not interested, you can understand why they are not interested, how you can change topic and things. So participation is important. It's your participation and the receiver's participation is very important. So ask good questions to, uh, get the communication effective like you ask whether you understood the point that i'm trying to say right so can you repeat what i said for the last 40 minutes in one minute or so so yeah, anything like this it can be a short and sweet effective question that you can try to say i don't want to summarize here but yeah i will summarize a little later last but not the least is listening so effective communication, a way, way important feature is listening. So Mark Twain has a beautiful saying like, so if we are supposed to talk more than listen, we would have given two mouths and one ear, right? Very nice to see this. Yeah, that is true. That is how God has blessed us or how the nature is. Uh, so if you speak for one hour, you have to listen for two hours, right? So one third of the time is what you are gifted to speak. So at least you have to spend a lot of time to listen. And when it comes to listening, right? Generally, we make a mistake saying like, so we listen a little fast, right? Uh, people will speak fast. So we are very tuned to listen fast also. If that's the case, you can ask the person to go a little slow. That is what I conveyed sometime before, right? I'm purposefully going a little slower in my speed because when you go slower in a discussion, the other person might listen completely and have some time for something else. That is okay. But if the other person doesn't have time to listen or get the message, right, then it's it's harm. It, it won't be effective communication. All right? So... Listening at a particular speed is very important. I strongly want you to exercise that. So quickly, I will summarize. Uh, uh, so we are kind of nearing 1050. Uh, so what we have learned is communication, how it is different from talking, speaking, how it is needed for an environment, for our personal life, for our professional life so a neighboring shop a neighboring community where people come and help each other our government as such sometimes we need to go and communicate our family members our friends our office members and things like that right so communication is so important and effective uh, it is art it's powerful right than what we could imagine so we we saw uh, the different 
tenets of communication let it be empathy or clear or crisp or specific or timely things like that we saw about the barriers of communication what what things normally restrict you to communicate better things like that uh, some of you will say like you you covered something called as a self exercise you asked us to put two missed opportunities this guy is not speaking about this right so we'll again come to the opportunity part right generally people say uh, opportunity is something very interesting right so let me quickly uh, show a screen so again go to menti.com so we are summarizing in 2 3 minutes then we'll have time for questions and answers All right okay okay sir okay so again go to menti.com so you have a different code now you have to put this particular code and click the submit button 254002 and you kind of have a different questions like what you learn today okay so what do you mean as so communication could you please repeat the uh, code again okay so you can see in the screen also 254002 right so go to a site called menti.com so menti.com in all your personal device you will be asked for this code 254002 and you are just going to respond in a word or two words or three words don't give paragraph right then then marks question and things what do you mean as communication to you so if you want to respond here and if you want to respond in a youtube chat is also fine now you correlate to the aspect in terms of the two missed opportunities right right two missed opportunities like one is your personal opportunity that you missed and one is your professional opportunity that you missed right think that scenario and you see what is communication you mean for that missed opportunity what is the delta communication skill that you can put for you to be successful in the opportunity that you missed i see people are very interactive lots of messages coming up right so uh, you can respond it yeah so communication means connecting people conveying the message interacting with people beautiful listening right so so end of the session if you say like i learn i have to spend more than 50% of time to listen than speaking uh, my job is done like you you have kind of done right so exchange of messages beautiful point sharing thoughts beautiful point so communication is not monotonous right i i keep speaking it but now i see opportunity to get your pulse right so it's very beautiful like exchanging of thoughts like i might learn something from you like uh, the way you express right maybe i have to do something different next times it's two way uh, things like that so very beautiful let let me not restrict probably this activity is beautiful for you uh, lots of participants i will keep this slide for some time uh yeah dr vidya probably we can open for questions yes mr in the interest Chakopi. of time yeah so yeah so let us uh, look for some questions in the comment box chat box so i saw an interesting question like about uh, multitasking so like a comment so um, you know we are uh, he, uh, dr rebariti paul said you are right that if we do multitasking sometimes we cannot get full benefits 
of any work. However, uh, sadly, all working women are forced to do multitasking, especially in lockdown. We are not allowed the leisure of attending a single webinar only at a time. We start feeling guilty that we are simply uh, listening for one hour and not caring to the needs of kids or household work. So how do we, uh, you know, take that or how to Yeah, handle sure, it? doctor. A very interesting question, right? Uh, um, it is, it's your soft skills part that comes to play. Uh, multitasking, I will say we should not do if we are not comfortable doing that. We need to practice that well and do that, right? So we have to uh, separate different things at the point of time, uh, given this lockdown situation where we have kids and people around us, we have to, and I might give you theories as such, but yeah, it is something you try to separate the space when it is very important, right? If there is a session where you need to be interactive, uh, in a day of eight to 10 hours of work, some people work more than 10 hours. But yeah, uh, those times you have to find the important 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, where you need to be 100% effective. So those time we have to schedule something like ask someone to take care of other things, get to an environment on a locked room or situation where we need to be 100% on a single task. Uh, even if you attend a call while working something, right, it is really difficult. But definitely 8 to 10 hours, we cannot plan differently. But at least 30 minutes, we can plan. Uh, step by step, we can try to attempt that. That is that. So I, I am not a good multitasker. Like sometimes I will say, uh, if I get a call, right? So I kind of say like I will, I will call you back. So I will say like, shall I come back to you by twelve? I am busy in this. If I get to a chat, right? I I will not read at times. Even today's con uh, session, right? Sometimes I am not able to read. It's fine because in a way I feel uh, the purpose, the primary thing of discussion is going on. But if it's a very error some a troublesome scenario people will come back to us things like that so all mm -hmm. i would say like we can plan it better doctor mm -hmm. so we have one more question from uh, Ms. patima banu mm -hmm. so communication is a powerful tool yes how do communicate opposite people uh, i don't know what she means by opposite people doesn't have patience who will uh, how we will communicate. So I guess she's asking if suppose uh, we have a conversation and they don't have patience to listen, so what do we do? Yeah, got a question. Very beautiful question, uh, ma'am, Fatima mm -hmm. Um Right, uh, let it be on your personal space, right? Like I, I go to a neighborhood. Uh, I could say like uh, you take care of the clear, uh, clean aspects, right? You don't allow strangers coming into a space. We have to do social distancing and things. But our neighbors don't listen to us. Sometimes in our office environment also, right? People say, like, you need to do that. No other way you have to do these things. I'm trying to extrapolate your question with scenarios. That is what generally people do. How to handle that is uh, your power of calmness is what a strong tool to handle that map. Uh, when people are not able to listen, you have to be calm completely. You have to be quiet. You don't go to a emotional response, go and argue and respond saying like, what do you mean? Like I mean something different, what do you mean? Because the person is not in a mood to kind of listen or accept to you, right? So whatever you speak is not going to handle. But you can try it in a beautiful time frame, like after five minutes or after one day and try to do. But the objective will be solved only if the person who is speaking as well as the person who is recipient, who are both in the context to discuss this particular topic, right? If this topic people doesn't want to discuss, it is not going to be solved, right? Mm -hmm. So think of, mm -hmm. think 
options like try yeah, things definitely different it's two way that. and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. so we have one more question from uh, mr amit rajit roy how to overcome the fear of public speech Samit, uh, uh, so you are a hero for sure. That is that is what you have to take within you, right? That That is the skill or the confidence that I take within me, right? Uh, so I'm not an expert, right? So even this week, I attended some leadership sessions, again on communication, right? So I, I'm not an expert, but I'm not also poor, right? But I am a hero. In these aspects, I can try to convey the scenarios and my experience and my my learnings on what is effective communication to the audience. You can learn out of it. That, that is the confidence that I have. The same heroic confidence is the first skill that you should have. You should have like you are the only person who can do. If you cannot do, no one else can do. If that is in place, things will automatically come to place. Second is you should be a subject matter expert. If you are strong in the session, so if you want to go and speak on something called uh, mobile computing, or if you want to speak something on uh, relational mathematics or something like that, right? Uh, it is something you kind of do a very good groundwork, right? So yesterday, uh, so doctor and me were discussing uh, how we can plan this session. Then I was offline trying to see what can be done. Then I was rehearsing this. Today morning I was rehearsing this. I told a scenario, I got up early. Everything is needed, right? Sometimes stand in front of a mirror and rehearse yourself saying like, what you are going to do in front of a bigger audience, right? If you're done, you will be a hero and you'll be able to convey your message. Hope I clarify your mm. answer. We are running out of time. So maybe we will take only a few more questions. Sure. So here is one question says, um, hi, sir. My question is that how to overcome the challenges facing while communicating with people? And let's explain, sir. Sure. Uh, while communicating with people, um, you need to understand whether the conversation is happening correctly or not. Uh, as we saw in the content, right? Listening is something very important. You try to listen and see the feedback that the people is trying to say, right? Whether the person is trying to summarize what you're trying to say. So my 40, 45 minutes of session, in the last activity, when you kind of put like what you mean as communication, that makes some smile on me, right? You would have automatically seen some smile at the end of the session. Like when I feel like you are able to get the message a little strongly, I feel happy that the communication is effective, right? So listen, try to understand a summary of what you try to do. So obviously you can ask some questions like, for example, uh, you ask one of your brother to go to a shop and buy two bananas, right? Like you have your famous comedy in one of a Tamil movie. Uh, but after the message is conveyed, you can ask him saying like, what did you understand? Right? So can you repeat what did I say? Maybe sometimes we'll say like professor staffs, you teach for 40 minutes or so. But you might need to spend one minute or two minutes to ask different audience to convey what they learned. So if they give a feedback saying, like, this is what I learned, and if you feel that is the correct message being reached, your communication is effective. Otherwise, you have to do a course correction. You have to see where to correct it. That is what I feel, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So thank you, sir. So we have one more question uh, from Latika Sadan. How to communicate with dominant communicators? The dominant communicators is very similar to like uh, uh, pressurized communicators, right? Uh, so they will try to speak as such. They, they are bossy in nature. They will try to uh, keep saying like 
and this is a message this is what you need to do right but we should not be soft always like you have to go and say hey boss i didn't understand your message right throw some uh, uh, interesting response to them right if they are dominant and speaking for 10 minutes tell them like i didn't understand anything tell them like what you speak is not meaningful to me tell some words like this right then they will feel guilty like okay this is something because of me being dominant being always trying to convey on a monotonous mode from one way to other uh, that is what is happening they will do a course correction right or you try different channels like if people try to say like uh, this is what i mean as mathematics for me you go take this particular learning things like that then you try to respond to them in a email or in the next session right ma'am yesterday i had four questions can you clarify then and go to the next topic things like that so try different options your world is very beautiful where you to explore options that that is where you need to look ma'am okay yeah so, so to <clears throat> uh, so we have one more question from ms magdalen uh, dominic how effective is connecting people virtually is it possible to convey the message as planned your views on this it is 99% feasible magdalen uh so all communication is not 100% right uh, so we are all human we try to miss here and there um virtually it's very very feasible but we are not used to it right digital things are coming now we are forced to do things virtually at this point of time right we are forced to uh use a different channel like you used to go in person discuss with people you used to uh speak in auditorium things like that now we are forced to channels like youtube um, we are forced to channels like even personally we are communicating in a whatsapp uh, video chat and things like that so having said that so as we didn't had a experience we are not able to do it is again the subject matter expertise right you know the subject but virtually you may not be able to do it because we have not experienced it so definitely you need lots of experience on sessions like this a soft skill session like how you can do things virtually i hope i try to explain bits and pieces of the current covid scenario how you can try to do that but things are feasible if you know the technology if you know how things are feasible right uh you need to have the feedback channel truly happening like you need to ask people what they understood if that is the case things will be definitely feasible ma'am okay so thank you mr gopi that actually brings up to what i wanted to share with people so please fill up back form as i know the gopi was and mr gopi was answering matter and those who registered if only you get uh, fill the feedback form we will distribute the e certificate so please uh, kindly kindly fill the um, feedback form it is uh, put in the chat box and um, so we are already running out of time so let us uh, uh, you know uh, complete this q and a session uh, sorry for those uh, questions but we could not pick up due to time but uh, we will try to answer it through email if you can leave your email uh, with us in the chat box too so uh, i just wanted to finally thank you mr gopi for uh, sharing your personal experiences personal through personal stories and also gave us activities so that we are not bored and uh, not it's not just one way uh, you know learning and answer all the questions so beautifully you gave a, a clear picture of so many aspects of uh, effective communication uh, being uh, empathetic listening first and thinking before even talking about it and being crystal clear on all that 
your story spoke a lot and i am sure that all the participants got uh, something um, much out of this session i really appreciate for taking time uh, to come and um, uh, do this session on our platform uh, and um, yeah thank you very much and i also thank all the participants uh, for uh, your uh, participation and for all the comments and for you know asking questions and again uh, to uh, uh, we will try to answer all the rest of the questions uh, through email and um, if you leave your email id with us and um, do please visit our website uh, of kumaraguru college of liberal arts and science to know more about our college and kindly fill the feedback form thank you again and have a wonderful day thank you all you have been a wonderful audience thanks for this opportunity நீங்க யாரும் இல்லாம குமரகுரு ஒரு வெறுமையை உணரு ஆனா அதே நேரம் கொரோனா பாதிப்புகளை தவிர்க்க வீட்டில் பாதுகாப்பாகவும் ஆரோக்கியமாகவும் இருப்பீங்கன்னு நினச்சி சந்தோஷப்படுது அரசோட ஊரடங்கு உத்தரவு அடுத்த இருபத்தி ஒரு நாளைக்கு அமலில் இருக்க போகுது ஒவ்வொரு உயிரும் ரொம்பவே உன்னதமானது அதனால இந்த உத்தரவை அலட்சியப்படுத்தாமல் இனி வரப்போற கொஞ்ச நாளைக்கு உங்களையும் உங்க குடும்பத்தையும் உங்களை சார்ந்தவங்களையும் ரொம்ப பாதுகாப்பா பாத்துக்கோங்க குமரகுருவோட மாணவர்கள் ஆசிரியர்கள் ஊழியர்கள் மற்றும் உலகம் முழுவதும் இருக்கிற முன்னாள் மாணவர்கள்னு நீங்க எல்லாரும் உங்க குடும்பத்தோட பாதுகாப்பா இருப்பீங்கன்னு நம்புறோம் ஆனா இனி வரப்போற சவாலான நாட்கள்ல இன்னும் அதிகமா உங்களை பத்திரப்படுத்திக்கோங்க நம்ம ஒவ்வொருத்தரோட ஒத்துழைப்பும் பல உயிரை காப்பாத்துங்கிறத மனசுல வச்சு செயல்படுங்க ஒரு நல்ல மனுஷனாவும் நல்ல குடிமகனாவும் உங்களையும் உங்களை சுத்தி இருக்கிறவங்களையும் பாதுகாத்து கொரோனாவை கட்டுப்படுத்துற நடவடிக்கைக்கு ஒத்துழைப்பு கொடுத்த ஹீரோ ஹீரோயின்களா நிலைமை சீரான பிறகு உங்களை சந்திக்க குமரகுரு காத்திருக்கு